through it all, feel it to heal it, as they say, isn't it? Um, so yeah, take it easy with yourself, go slow, feel into your creativity, play along, see what brings you joy, but don't push. Go as slow as you can go and keep everything as simple as you can keep it. Yeah, and with that, I pass it on to Princess. Thank you, you guys. I will stop sharing now. Thank you, Karina. As um, you were ending your presentation, I took a little uh, peep into my Instagram because some of uh, the others were supposed to join us can't or couldn't make it because something came up and I was like, okay, what's the message there, you know, like, what is it telling me or what is it telling us if there's a delay or if something backs out and they decide to do something like, how are you feeling about it? How are you feeling about delays since it's Mercury retrograde and it seems like there's so much um, challenges in communications nowadays, right? And Sometimes when this happens, it could take, uh, it could be too personal. Like we think, you know, they, they, they intentionally don't want to like join us or see us or meet us. And then we like look at ourselves and we are like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not enough this. What am I doing wrong? So maybe it's just the planet, right? Maybe it's just Mercury going backwards and it's nothing personal and we just give them time and ourselves time, like what Karina said, and, and we will revisit that. So for now, I'd like to invite you guys to have your cup of cacao with you. Uh, normally we do this in the beginning of the ceremony but it was just so quiet and lovely, lovely, lovely earlier. <laughs> okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. So tomorrow is the Philippines, I know, Independence Day, right? And to share a bit of a story of cacao, um, it's, it's actually, it's borrowed from the Mayans and the Aztecs um, in starting from like Mexico all the way down to the Amazon river. And because when the, when the Spanish came here, they sent a lot of their Mexican um, friends, let's just not <laughs> put titles, <laughs> to do the work for them. So it was actually most, mostly the Mexicans were here, not the Spanish. And, and in this time, family and culture was really important to them. And so they brought like a lot of the things that they were enjoying with their families. And one of that was cacao. And so fast forward, how many years later, since they came here, we are still enjoying this. Usually we have cacao, like, our knowledge personally and for most like women in the Philippines who grew up with their grandmothers the knowledge of cacao is passed on from the grandmother and grandmother and, and well from our mother's mother and so it's very it's something that um it's like a very familial thing that we do and that's why I love working with this plant medicine is because it brings me back to home and it's funny because a lot in the yoga and astrology and the spiritual community, we are all talking about collective rebirth. And cacao is, especially for birthing mothers, it's given, like in the provinces anyway, in the Philippines, we give it to the moms who just gave birth to replenish, you know, the nutrients and the minerals that was um, taken from her when she gave birth. And so this is a very nice nourishing plant. It is not psychoactive whatsoever. There's nothing 
um, extreme about this plant, but if you lean into her, you can also find yourself being held by this beautiful plant, by the earth, and it could bring some loving energies into you. And so like all mothers giving birth, we call in all our power our energy together, right? Because we are we are giving birth some someone. And so we're like giving all our strength for this creature to come out. And so we call in all the forces around us to help us. And I think that this is the call now the, between like the battle between the light and the dark, right? And you have to make a choice when where are you going? And so we call in all our spirit guides to, to be here with us. So again, I'd like you to take your cup next to you. As we say this prayer, So just closing the eyes, feeling the cup next to your heart, taking a deep breath in and out, whispering love to your family and friends and loved ones, breathing in And as you breathe out, we call all the forces for good, calling in all elemental energies, the spirits of the land and of the creatures that walk it, spirits of the waters and those that dwell within, spirits of the air and those who float and take wing on the wind. Calling all ancient guardians of this planet and of its people. Calling on the long sleeping force of mythological beings of old. Calling on the directions, the north, south, east, and west. Calling on the above and the below. Calling on center, that's you. See us through this time in a powerful and protective way. Give us courage and inner calm, foresight and preparedness for the battles we are fighting and wins for the ones that are ahead. Give us clarity to see the moments of peace and to draw strength for our love and fortitude. Offer us answers in our dreams and support in our waking. Calling on the great mystery, the benevolent powers of creation. Help us tap our higher calling, our magic and the bravery for the days to come and for today. Holding your cup next to your heart. May this beautiful plant nourish us and heal us. And as we nourish and heal ourselves, may we send healing and love to the people around us. Bring the cup closer to your nose. Engaging the sense of smell. When you're ready, 
taking a sip from your cup. Stay there, wherever you are. Go into that space or that spot within your body that needs healing right now. Sending healing and love to that part of you. might want to move your neck, moving your body side to side, just slowly moving, being gentle with yourself. Oh, how was that? How are you guys? 